Well guys, I'm just having one of those days. One of those days where I'm so hyped about something that I just want to make another video today. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so today, uh, it was my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Miles! He's playing Fortnite. He has headphones on so he can't hear me. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, our grandma always gets us birthday bags. And so I had this cool Spider-Man shirt and this Marvel Comics shirt that I got. I'm going to be wearing those and showing them off. But really what I wanted to do now is show you some new dinosaurs that I got. It's so like 2018 line, brand new, uh, just some news on the Raptor series. So Raptor series, I know I made a big deal out of it in the showcase and whatnot, but I feel like I'm going to be doing different series, like a, maybe a T-Rex, or maybe like do all the Legos at one time, maybe do all the Schleich at one time, you know? Something along those lines, or maybe just do everything random, and then just add whatever thing I have into, um, like, if it's a Raptor review, then just put it in the Raptor review series, um, playlist. So be sure to check out the playlist if you want to see all the Raptor series videos, and so I'm just gonna throw them all into a playlist, and I feel like that's what I'm gonna do, so it's just gonna be sort of random reviews instead of, like, Raptor, 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 because I do sort of want to do the Carnotaurus reviews. I haven't done the other one, and I just got this one. Look at this beauty. Uh, one small problem, the arms are under-exaggerated. They should be bigger. No, I'm kidding. If anything, they're over-exaggerated. But these things are a lot better. Here, comparison. Are a lot better just in terms of how they fit anatomically on the dinosaur than these. This sort of looks like it's a fully formed arm where it's like, ha, huh, instead of like the little stumpy stumps that it probably actually had. So, I do sort of like this one better, just in terms of everything, but if you're looking for, like, extremely accurate, I think you, you should mix them together. They did have these scoots on the side, probably didn't have these spikes, which is good for this one. I feel like the scoot and detail is really good, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have those plates up there either. And then the plates on the neck, so I'm pretty sure I've seen skin impressions. This one's skin is better than this one, but it does have a lot more detail, so this one's better probably for a collector. But, you know, they're just, they each have flaws, and one of them has flaws where the other one doesn't. I mean, like, the, the overall shape of them is fine, and in fact, they're basically in the same curve, except this one's head is tilted a little bit to this side almost equal to straight ahead but it's tilted a tiny bit but the tails are um going the same direction so these are basically the same in terms of like figures and you could have a pretty cool pack right here like this one's sort of looking to this guy for guidance while this guy's walking forward just really cool and i'm gonna do the honors i'm gonna undo this thingy majig you see Ooh, what did i get conquering the earth Let's see if we have any of the others on this one. Carnotaurus. Kentrosaurus, which is the 2017 line, I'm fairly sure. And the Dilophosaurus, which I'm fairly sure is the 2016 line. They are back there is the Dilophosaurus. Kentrosaurus is over there. You might be able to see him if you see my room tour too. Number one, I don't think I had him yet. So after that, then we need to get this other stuff off rip this off of its leg i feel better being more like yanking this stuff off with the bigger guys just because they're more sturdy but with smaller guys like i did the mini t-rex I, I i'm so careful that it just sort of like that one it's like eternally sticky now because i rubbed it around so much and i got that off let's just seal it off so it doesn't get stuck anywhere there we go i'll just leave that there one more thing to do um, this will take a while. I'll put this into fast motion and play some awesome music while you watch me struggle. So, 
We got him fully fledged, part of the Fantasy Mashup channel now. He's like all set. Super cool. I love this figure. We'll get in more in depth on the review. Just one thing I like right out of once all the stickers and stuff are out of the way. It does look, just from the look of it, since the legs are a little bit higher up, I don't know if the body is any thinner, but it does look very thin and very tall, like the legs are making it tall. And that's good because Carnotaurus was most likely one of the fastest dinosaurs at the time in the area. Raptors, or Manoraptorans, whatever, up in North America, which was Deinonychus, not Velociraptor. I'll make a video on that sometime, actually, now <laughs> that I think about it. Kind of want to do a video on that now, too. I'll save it for, like, tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, this one was one of the fastest in this area. It was a speed demon, as they call it. This one just looks a little bit lower to the ground, and its legs sort of crouch, so it looks less capable of achieving high speeds. But this one looks like it could be a serious runner. Serious competition at the track meet, if you know what I mean. Um, and then next, last guy, my grandma got me one bigger one and one smaller one. And so we got the Tawa, little Tawa. Let's open up his arm strap. And these arm straps are surprisingly easy to have this on it. Let's see what else is in this Conquering the Earth set. I guess Conquering the Earth is just all dinosaurs. Ooh, I see a new one. All right, the Tawa, the Kentrosaurus, and the Therese and the Saurus. So the Kentrosaurus is also featured on this one. I think they just randomly choose ones and throw them onto these. Um, but then there is the Schleck 2018 Therizinosaurus, which I will get and review. It's right here. It's black and red, and m my brother Samuel got it, and so I can see it has a lot more detail than the other stuff, and it's got just some nice backs detailing. And now, I don't wanna cut this off. I have it on so tight. How am I supposed to get this off? His arm's gonna be sticky. It's already a tiny bit sticky just because of the texturing they use. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Yeah, record time right there. Little Tawa. Um, I'm not sure if this is a dinosaur or not. It looks like a Coelophysid. Coelophysids are personally one of my favorites, right next to the Tyrannosaurids. And of course, my favorite, the Carnotaurus. Or should I say the Carnotaurus? I don't know which one's better. If they. Slyke, if anybody from Slyke's listening to this, yes, you from Slyke, um, then please make a variant of these, but mix together a new version of the Carnotaurus and make it scientifically accurate because I feel like this one has great points to it and this one has great points to it. Like the legs, more taller, elongated, no spikes up here. This one has the nice scoots. This one has good skin impressions. This one's arms are nice. I feel like if you did that and then just added a bigger mouth gape because um, Abelosaurids had large mouth gapes, instead of like crushing, they would just open up wide and slash, I think is how it went. So just make one of these with a wider mouth gape and just mix together the best qualities to make a scientific one. Uh, it, it could be just about the same quality as this, just as scientifically accurate, and I feel like that would be one of the best dinosaur toys I've ever seen, because honestly, I love the Carnotaurus. And so yeah, you could you could maybe like make a, it, it as thin as the Tawa even, that would be, well not as thin as the Tawa, this thing's pretty, this thing's on a diet. So, more about the Tawa, it's mouth structure, Looks a little bit new from Schleich. I don't think I've ever gotten this type of, yeah, I guess it's just more of a newer type of dinosaur, just because I have never seen a Schleich Coelophysid before. So this is gonna be interesting to review. So can't wait for this one. And this is not a Manoraptorin, I repeat, look at the claws. It is not a Manoraptorin, not. There is no claws, okay? This was estimated to be in the fossil record around Triassic aged rocks. So, yeah, um, pretty much it. Samuel show coming up. We're also, oh, this has been going on for a while. Um, Samuel show, we're gonna be doing more reviews probably. And next video I think is going to be one telling the differences between Velociraptor and Deinonychus, which I can actually find the parts in Jurassic Park that talk about it. 
and then stuff like that. So, I guess like, subscribe, fantasy mashup out. Now to the outro for the second time in one day. Bye.